Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, you just saw me setting up for a dinner party that I'm throwing tomorrow night. A chef, Chef Matt, I'll leave all of this stuff down below, reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I'd be interested in hosting a dinner party with uh, him cooking uh, here. So I said, absolutely, yes, that sounds so fun. I don't have to cook. So of course I was obsessing over the table setting and it's I love hosting, I love having people over. So it was really fun to set the table and do all of that. I think I still wanna get a centerpiece for flowers. Brendan and I are gonna go and do that tomorrow. We'll bring you along. But for now, I got the table set up today because I just didn't wanna deal with it tomorrow and I wanted to make sure it all looked good and I didn't need anything else. Obviously you can tell I really wanna make this special. But um, let me show you that. But before I get there, if you're not already subscribed, please take some time right now to hit the subscribe button for weekly vlogs. And I know a lot of you are coming and watching every single week, but some of you are not subscribed. So please take the time to subscribe if you're not already and like this video, of course. It gives, uh, it really helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps my videos get seen to more people. Okay, let me show you the table. So I really was going for something that was earth tone and spring-like and the plates so the, these are all Kelly Wurstler for Cerax and they're very simple. It's kind of like this bone color and has a very simple design. And then these linens are from, this is from Sephara, the linen napkin, and then the linen tablecloth is from Matuk. And I got them both on Bloomingdale's. And then this napkin ring is actually from Amazon. I'm gonna leave everything linked. And then the flat, the silverware is just my regular silverware, and this is from CB2. And then these water glasses are from CB2 or Crate and Barrel. I'll leave everything linked. And then the wine glasses are Zweisel, also Amazon, West Elm. They're amazing glasses, dishwasher safe, highly recommend it. But I think this came out really nicely. I'm very pleased with the way that it looks. And once it has a big centerpiece in the middle, uh, I think it's gonna look even better. Also, I got these faux cherry blossom botanicals from Pottery Barn, although they're sold at so many different sites. I'll also leave these linked below. But I really like the way that it looks on this credenza. I think it, like the height is, is great here. This is a really tall ceiling. This mirror right here is from RH and it's 72 inch diameter, so it's pretty big and it needed something there. Sorry for the flicker, it's the Philips Hue flickering lights. It's so freaking annoying. Anyway, I really like the way this looks. Friday night and we have decided that we are not going out and we are staying in and we're going to make- Who decided that? <laughs> well, we collectively decided it, right? Or did you decide it? I did. Oh, Brendan decided it. I can go out every night of the week. So we're enjoying a little bit of wine. This is Fable Cabernet Sauvignon. So we've decided that we are doing a steakhouse dinner to make it fun and special. So I went to Store and I got us two pre-packaged filet mignons, which is not ideal. I know I have some clips of me shopping, but they didn't have like the butcher counter version of filet, which was annoying. And then we're gonna do sauteed spinach. That'll cook down to something the size of my fist and Brendan will be pretty annoyed with me. And then we're gonna do mac and cheese, but the bonza version. It's a little healthier. Tastes what makes it healthier? It's made with chickpeas, oh, right. pasta. Honestly, it's so good though. It like, I like it better than most really, mac and cheese. Really good, really good. And the rice. Then I got fresh rosemary. Rosemary. Rosemary? Mary. Rosemary. Butter. Garlic. Oh, and then I got this steak sauce. Peter Luger steak sauce. Ooh, very New York. Very New York, right? I figured you would like that. You should go there. Wow, this is like a good fridge setup. Well, this is for tomorrow because I want to have the nice still it's water. It's just so organized. And then this is the, the sparkling. I wanted to make it like a restaurant for the dinner tomorrow. 
And I got everyone everything they need for their drinks. I want 30 martinis. I love yeah. how everyone has a different drink. Like it's not easy. Then I got, right, everyone, like the gays are very complicated with very specific drinks. Just put vodka in a cup. <laughs> right? I'm pretty easy. You are easy. Okay, I think that is it for now. It's doofus. <laughs> are you excited for the steak dinner? I'm really excited. Like I think it'll be better than our restaurant. My girlfriend, my enemy, and my competition. <laughs> <laughs> she is your competition. She You're supposed to let the meat sit out for some time. This is already not going well. That's a good size. That's good. I, and when it cooks too, it'll be smaller. <laughs> God, this is pretty gross. I'm sorry if anyone's vegetarian. Oh, that's a nice one. What are you wearing today? <laughs> Is that a read? <laughs> I'm wearing a Lululemon hoodie, Fiori shorts, and a Roan t-shirt underneath, and <laughs> platform mugs. <laughs> Cute. Now, we are going to season. What is that, garlic? No, Salt? <laughs> Not garlic. <laughs> Now my question is, you're supposed to technically, cause I'm gonna sear it first in the pan and then I'm going to put it in the oven to finish cooking and bring it to temp. You're supposed to do this stuff not in a uh, nonstick pan, like not a yeah. like Instagram brand, do you know what I mean? So my question is, do we think I should do it in the grill pan? Oof. Do I have to clean it? It's not gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. I think we should do it in the grill pan. We should. It'll be good. Cause then we'll have grill marks. Yeah. So final decision. We'll do it in the grill pan. Mac and cheese will go in here. Spinach go here. This cooks in nine minutes. That goes in the when that goes in the oven, that will go in there. And same with this. So we have some time until the oven preheats. Brennan just told me that he has only boiled water twice in his life. And Three. <laughs> and he, when I took the cheese out, did you guys hear when he said, where's the cheese? My question is, I have to make a pan sauce, which is basically gonna be the oil, the rosemary, and the butter. But like, this isn't really a pan that you can do like a pan sauce in. I guess it is. I don't really have another option and I wanna use cast iron to get the best sear. I'm gonna start preheating the pan. What do you think? Do you need like an oil? Let's preheat the pan for five to 10 minutes. Five minutes. Get it roaring hot. Yeah, I was gonna say that's how I make the eggs in the morning. I think we should wait until the food is done. To light a so candle? it gets the smell. Can we just have it lit the whole time? Sure. <laughs> dumb ideas for 500. <laughs> I got hot, so I took off my sweater. Okay, it's time to cook. We're doing a little avocado oil, which is a high smoke point oil. Whoa, weird. Okay, I did not think those ridges through, but no problem, because I have this. We're just gonna brush the oil. Oh, we're already smoking. That's not good. Now we're gonna flip it. Okay, it starts to boil water. Joey! Huh. Not exactly what I was picturing. The Oh, wow. It smells really good. Medium rare you want it? Yeah. Medium. Medium? Actually, I trust you. I think, let's just do six. We'll do six minutes. Let's just temp check it now. What temperature is the oven on? 
400. But I'm gonna attempt check the meat, I'm saying. Honestly, it's almost ready. <laughs> no. Spinach. Sorry, spinach spinach takes like one minute. I know, but I just want it. I could always reheat it, you know what I mean? Mm, don't. Let's keep it fresh. It's not not gonna be fresh, it's like we're talking about. Like, literally, I think we should wait until like everything's almost done. Well, What's the problem? It's just smoking a lot. It's smoking a lot, then you forgot the garlic. Well, now I didn't. Now it's in there. All right, and then I'm gonna set the table. Oops. That's only 100 degrees inside. That's not even anywhere near. That's done. I don't ever cook with butter. Where's that garlic that I pre-cut? Right oh. there. That'll be good. Should we add like a good spice? Like a... Spice of what? I don't know. Like a fun salt. Oh, that garlic's already burning. It smells so good. Now, what's next in my kitchen? That's gotta be ready. Well, we'll time check. Perfect. The, the temperature may not be perfect, but whatever. All right, so I'm gonna put the cheese sauce in, quarter cup of milk, and there's butter. That's gonna be really good. I like white cheddar, don't you? Yeah, me too. Our little bowls. What everyone should know is that Ben does this on a nightly occurrence for me. Not as elaborate, but I cook for you every night. It's pretty elaborate every night, honestly. I mean, this is special. Yeah, we don't eat mac and cheese every night. No, but you put effort. this level of effort into it every night. That's nice of you to call out. Taste test approved? Yeah. Really good. Just take it off, it's just for show. <laughs> Alright, give us a taste test of the steak, cut into the steak. Alright. Zoe, no. Oh, that's perfect. Let me see. Mm. That's what I like. Most people don't. That's like pretty that. good, actually. Dry it's pretty amazing. and tough. No, it's good. It's like, do you like that steak sauce? Nope. Why? I don't know. I just don't like steak sauce. Steak sauce. It tastes so good on its own now. Okay. Hey guys, it's Saturday. The next day, we had that delicious steak dinner last night. It was so good, and we fully achieved the steakhouse at home vibe. And then this morning we worked out, went to Equinox, did a class, and then we went to Plant Shed and got some flowers for tonight because I wanted to have a nice arrangement. I'll show you here what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna, I bought two of the same arrangements and I'm gonna put them in a vase. just got ready now showered whatever from the gym and we're gonna go to Lure for lunch which is I think is probably my favorite restaurant in New York City and I don't really care what anyone else says but that is like it's not like the coolest and newest but it's tried and true it's been around for 20 years it's amazing right in Soho so we're going for lunch which is actually Brennan's idea but first let me give you a little fit check and then I'll show you everything that we get at Lure and uh, indulge ourselves in before the dinner tonight. Fit check today this is a Mr. Porter cashmere sweater in navy and these are John Elliott 
pants, a little bit oversized. I really like the stitching details on it. It's nice. And I just like that it looks a little more cinched at the waist and flowier. And you've got Common Project combat boots. It's like a little rainy today. And then the John Elliott cropped jacket. And then my attitude and my personality. Check. Check. Okay. Hey guys, it's Monday morning now, just sort of uh, digging out from the weekend. It was such a nice weekend. I unfortunately did not vlog much after we went to Lure for lunch because I was very frazzled and sort of in hosting mode, but I did take some Instagram clips and I have some videos I can put up, but the, the dinner with the chef was absolutely amazing. It was a six course dinner. I had some friends over. The star of the show was this amazing Wagyu short rib and the dessert was a, this chocolate pot he called it, but it was this amazing like sort of uh, whipped chocolate kind of mousse, but like very, very thick and very rich and amazing. And we had amazing cocktails and just like an all around really fun time. So I am gonna wrap the vlog up here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it was a little different. I didn't do necessarily like a, a, a luxury sort of segment, which has been my format for a while. And it, I still plan to do that in most of my videos and sort of incorporate that sort of tech and luxury into the everyday sort of vlogging. But I just wanted to do a fun sort of uh, peek into my personal life a little bit more and show a little bit of a weekend in my life and hanging out with Brendan. So I'm, I'm curious how you guys think it went and uh, I'm excited to keep making vlogs for you and I, I really do appreciate your, your feedback. So let me know what you thought of this. If you're not subscribed already, please do hit the subscribe button, like this video, it really helps YouTube algorithm and it helps my channel grow. But until then, I will see you guys in the next one, bye.